Hello, my name is Taylor Flint from Jamestown High School, and my science experiment was the effect of different types of water on plant growth. Water aids in transporting nutrients into plants via their roots. It also provides support on the cellular level. Without water, plants will wilt. But if the water is too acidic or too alkaline, plants may be unable to properly process the water for use. Different water sources have different pH balances, and this will have an effect on plants. Understanding which type of water and pH balance is best for plant growth is important. Knowing which type of water best supports plant growth is important because people can make adjustments to better take care of their plants. My research question was, which type of water promotes the best plant growth? My hypothesis was, is if different types of water are used to water plants, then tap water will promote the most plant growth. Tap water will be the best because there isn't anything special added to it or filtered out of it. And the independent variable was the type of water being used to water the plants. And the four I did were alkaline water, distilled water, Brita filtered water, and tap water. And the dependent variable was how high the plants grew. The second step is to measure and place one tablespoon of soil in each plant container and add in one tablespoon of water to form a one-to-one -one ratio of soil and water, which expands the soil and prepares it for the seeds to be planted. Next, place one-fourth tablespoon of seeds underneath one-eighth of an inch of soil. And then each day, water each plant with one-fourth ounce of their specific water type and each day also measure the growth in centimeters of each plant and calculate the average height of each water group. And then after one week, I formed the conclusions. Um, for risk and safety, there weren't any risks in this experiment, so I didn't need to take any safety precautions. Here are the results from my experiment. You can see each day the experiment lasted for seven days, and these are the averages because there was, um, as you can see in the pictures, there was five different plants for each water group, and so there would be too many things to add in for each plant result, but there are the averages, and then at the end, here are the pH types of each type of water I used. This data shows that the wheatgrass grew best when watered with tap water, distilled water was the next tallest group, and then the Brita filtered. The shortest group was the alkaline watered group. This experiment could be improved with more plants in each group and more days in the experiment. If this experiment was repeated, I would keep the plant type the same because the, wheat grew, the wheatgrass grew really fast, so it makes for a simple experiment. Also, I would be super specific, again, with each measurement to limit the confounding variables. This information is useful to people who grow plants and want to know which water is best for them. It can be important to farmers to know which pH provides optimal plant growth so they can have diff the best produce possible. This project could be adapted to have different water types such as river water or collected rainwater. If those water types were used, then maybe people could water their plants with that instead to conserve water. My hypothesis was supported because the tap water plants grew the tallest. Um, I think this should be further investigated with more types of water to apply this to the real world. And here are my references. Thank you.